Welcome back to Eve's Brunch at the Oscars. And since we're swimming in tasty bites and drinks, we want to make sure that you guys are set up at home as well so you can enjoy with us. So we are here with our power duo, Ruth Tal and Shireen Arazam. Cool. Thank you guys for joining Hi. us. All right, you guys are the co-founders of Fresh Restaurants in LA. We were just talking about this. You have them all over. Yeah, we're, we're in Toronto and we're in LA. I've been vegan for 30 years. Uh, wow. When I was 25, I went 100% plant-based and founded the brand. Wow. And um, this is such a dream come true to be wow. here. Wow, this is amazing. The spread looks good. So tonight, everyone at the Oscars is going to be eating 70% <laughs> plant-based, which is a meal that is going to be done by Wolfgang Puck. So your restaurant is plant-based, just like you were saying. So do you guys love going to events and seeing that this really is taking on? Oh yeah, oh my gosh. I mean, just to eat plant-based and for people to know how accessible this is and you can um, end up feeling really full and satisfied and, and beautiful food in front of you. I mean, Gorgeous. it really demystifies the whole this stereotype. This really phenomenal. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's talk about what we have here. First up, let's talk about these buffalo wings. Yeah. Buffalo-esque so, wings, right? So the buffalo cauliflower is one of our favorites, Shireen and I's, and also one of our most popular dishes at the restaurants. It starts with buffalo sauce. Okay. Um, traditional buffalo sauce is actually made from hot sauce and real butter. Oh. So the plant-based version is made with vegan butter, buffalo sauce, um, red hot sauce, okay. uh, apple cider vinegar to brighten it up, vegan Worcestershire sauce, because Worcestershire sauce usually has artich um, sorry, anchovy paste. Oh, I and love that. Yeah, so cool, right? So if it's vegan, we take that out um, and um, we combine it. And, and what's the dipping sauce yeah, that you have? That that's our so classic good. ranch. So the base is vegan mayo, which you can buy at any um, store. Right. Or you can make it yourself, um, combined with fresh dill, fresh chives, fresh it looks parsley. Looks amazing. It's spicy, so it's nice to dip it All in right, the ranch dressing. I'm going to try one of these. Give you a little reprieve uh, from you the other bite. Tell us about the nacho bites while I try this. Oh my God, another favorite. Go ahead, Shreen. Is our, our infamous vegan nachos. So, Tell at the restaurant, everything. at Fresh Restaurant, they would come like this on your table. They're a big sharing item. It's one of our favorites. Everybody's like, what is that? As I'm going to just interrupt you guys about, I'm going to tell you about these cauliflower bites. <laughs> Listen, and I'm not kidding. It's the best cauliflower bite I've ever had. Right? Thank and those you. are hemp hearts on top. Mm. Wow, So for amazing. added omega-3. Yes. Brass dancing, these nachos must be good. I'm <laughs> sorry, continue. Mm. So, oh, this is how it come at Fresh Restaurant, but if you were wow. at home and you wanted to make just a little bite-sized one, you can get these super easy little nacho cups right. at any supermarket anywhere in America. You can deconstruct them for a party. Oh, girl, so we, we, we do oh, it with bread. a little artichoke mushroom chorizo, wow. which is basically just sauteed mushrooms and artichokes. We throw in some tofu for that plant-based protein. We season it with like a chorizo seasoning that you can get at any supermarket. Yeah, wow. And if you don't want to make the mushroom chorizo mix um, out of a recipe, so you can just buy vegan ground round at any store and then just combine it with chorizo spices. Wow, you guys, this is phenomenal. That's right. so this will be your first layer right here, and then you can build it however you really want to. Okay. We, the tell secret, her, our tell secret. Tell where the magic happens, Shireen. <laughs> so we make a, our, our our queso, is vegan queso. It's soaked, um, soaked cashews. Okay. So when they're soaked and they're soft, when you when you um, blend them, they um, they get really, really smooth. And the game-changing ingredient oh, is... We add a tapioca starch, which gives it that, oh. like, gooey, cheesy yeah. feeling. I am so feeling like I'm we here are to tell up. you, that is delicious. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm telling you guys over here, you see this is still in my hand. Thank you so much to Ruth delicious. Powell and Shireen Arazam Pools. You guys, this is so that. amazing. Thank you so much for the yes, tips. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you guys can get bites, <laughs> vegan burgers. you can get tips, and more at Fresh restaurants in Los Angeles. Please make sure to look them up because their on food is Sunset good, honey. Boulevard. On Sunset. Now, when we come back, we're going to tell you what surprising categories are key in predicting tonight's winners. Now, if you want your office to win the Oscar pool, or if you want to win your Oscar pool, you better make sure that you keep it here. This brunch has been such a blast. I'm so excited to be here with Ruth Tall and Shireen Arazm Koulis. Thank you. you guys, those bites you made earlier look absolutely delicious. A lot of us want to be drinking today, but sometimes we can't have alcohol. I'm in that boat. So you guys are going to teach me how to make some delicious mocktails, okay? So you guys are supposed to be the unbelievable designers, and these all look super delicious. Let's start with this first one because this is your signature this drink. This is our signature cocktail. You can have it with or without alcohol and fresh. Um, this one has no alcohol in it for you. We call them zero-proof cocktails at Fresh. 
instead of mocktails. Okay, so what's all on this? What's all on this? This one is pineapple juice, uh, turmeric. Turmeric, 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 which it gives ah. it this gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> color. We've garnished it with a little pineapple leaf. We like to dust the top of it with a little cayenne pepper. Side note, cayenne pepper is, has a rich botanical source of vitamin C, so it has added uh, benefits. We, we all, yeah, go everything ahead. Everything we do at Fresh has added benefits. They're all healthy. Healthy, yummy ingredients can make a mocktail feel not so less than. Yes, it's delicious too. I love this one. Okay, so our, our, zero, our zero proof cocktails and cocktails these days um, are built to stand on their own or with alcohol and that's the secret so that when you're at a party you don't feel like um, you're the one standing out just because you've got no alcohol in your drink. Absolutely and sometimes I just like to look like I'm carrying a real cocktail because <laughs> then people give me funny looks because I'm very pregnant. Um, okay for those that love mojitos but you're not drinking right now you got the perfect res recipe. This, this is our fojito. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the name. It's all about the name. Okay, so you, what's all in the fajito? Go ahead. Okay, so we um, we love to use freshly squeezed apple juice, fresh pressed apple juice, but you can get store bought apple juice just as easily. Um, that's where the sweetness comes from, and of course the traditional lime juice, fresh mint, and what makes ours special is the fresh raspberries. You can muddle the raspberries. You can muddle the raspberries. You can blend the raspberries in the blender if you want to make it pinker and sweeter. You guys, that's really, really, really good. I know, you don't even miss the rum, right? I don't even, right. Okay, right. I'm not gonna go that far. <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far, but I, I will say this is very, very good. Very refreshing. <laughs> Super good. Okay, and then tell me about this third one. Okay, we love this one. This is, this is one of our favorites. This is a palomita. So it's a combination. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a combination of a paloma and a margarita. Because that rimmed pink sea salt, this Himalayan pink sea salt, it's pretty, makes you think you're drinking a margarita when you're not. And a paloma is traditionally got a, a grapefruit juice base. Okay. So we use, and we encourage people at home to use ruby red pink grapefruit so it's got that beautiful color, right? These are so good. The trick is uh, to top it with grapefruit soda. So it, when you add something effervescent to a mocktail or zero proof cocktail, that's what sort of elevates from just a glass of juice to um, a cocktail. Like yeah, it absolutely. It lightens it up. And it, they look so pretty. Like, this is impressive. You're serving this at your party. People are like, damn, what are and you, Martha some, Stewart? That's some star anise on the top just to add a little bit of some ice and to make it, uh, you know, sort of more our own. We always try to make traditional mocktails. A little more elevated, superfoods, things like turmeric, anise, all those kind of things. Delicious. Okay, now this one looks awfully <laughs> fancy. So what is this one? <laughs> but it's really easy to make at home. We were hoping we would get to this. <laughs> I've been talking to Shireen about this. We got to get to the butterfly pea flower. So this is butterfly pea flower extract. And um, traditionally, uh, a lot of bartenders are using it to infuse beautiful color into a drink. Um, when it combines with citrus, uh, the two um, changes the color from purple to pink to wow. um, to the to the blue. Does that make sense? Does that yes, make sense? Yes, it is, and it's actually it's an alchemy thing. It's, and it also has a lot of health benefits as well, like right. everything we have at Fresh. So good. Thank you guys <laughs> so welcome. much. You guys, these drinks are all so beautiful. For the most fabulous mocktails, head to Fresh Restaurants LA. Thank you guys Thank so much. You. Thank you. All right, when E's brunch at the Oscars returns, things are gonna get a little sketchy. We're gonna play the ultimate party game with the cast of Vanderpump Rules. That's next. We'll be right back. Of course, now we have to have drinks that goes with brunch. So joining us for your Oscar party from a Joker to Bombshell is Sky Johnson, a.k.a. the tipsy bartender. <laughs> I love that Sky name. Sky Johnson, how you guys doing? <laughs> so good to see you. All right, so. It. I feel like our brunch deserves a signature cocktail. Do you have something brunchy for us? Yes, I do. So what I have here is the bombshell bellini. Oh. So okay. we go in with some peach puree. Okay. Okay, just a little bit. And then we can come over the top of that with some Prosecco, okay? It's the Ooh. perfect brunch drink. And then you can come behind with a garnish. That was a perfect pour. That was. With a bit, little peach right, on the I'll side. Give, I'll give it a little try. Okay, give I it know a it try. doesn't seem like it, but this is my first sip of alcohol of the day. Thank you very much. <laughs> I might remove the peach. It's going to get in my way. <laughs> what do you think? Wow, it's really good. Really good? I'm going to take All right. this. <laughs> Kristen's over there handling business. <laughs> Let's get into Oscar party drink that we can actually serve at some viewing parties tonight. What do you have for us? Okay, so this right here is the once upon a dark and stormy time in Hollywood. Okay. So we can come it. over this with some dark rum. 
Okay? Yes, I'm, you already got I'll get you going. Come Beautiful. Scott, John. Come with it. And then we come in behind that with some lime juice. Fresh lime Love juice. It. Over the top of that with some ginger beer. Love. Fine. And then we garnish with a little lime. Okay. Okay, I gotta try this one. Nina, that's all you, baby. Right, and there you have it. it. <laughs> oh, okay. This requires a little dance, but this is okay. good. This is a little dance worthy. I love this. Let's do the parasite paloma. Okay, so right here is the parasite paloma. Now, typically palomas are made with grape, grapefruit soda, right. okay. but what we use is blood orange juice. Ooh. Wow. Okay, um, tequila, some lime, Speaking my some language. soda water, and so that's a really delicious drink that really matches parasite. If you saw the movie. I'll I love a remix. <laughs> I love you remixing to the themes of the movie. That's amazing. Okay, right, what I'll, do we have next? I'll give this one a oh, little oh, try. Okay, I'm sorry, um, Kristen needs to taste tequila. it. Tequila, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> and then this one wow. right here. Wow. You like that? It's rich. That one might be These my favorite. These are good. John, you can have this. Let's John see all day. Thank you, thank you. And this one right here is the Mezcal Story. Okay? okay. Get the name. So this is Mezcal. We use lime juice, um, agave syrup, some Cointreau, you shake that together, pour, good wow. to go, delicious drink. This is in honor of a marriage story. This is what, yes. you, this yes. is what you drink right after that right. divorce. Yes. Yeah, okay. you do. This okay. will save your marriage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I say, okay, I might make a new baby with that one, huh? Yeah. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, so lastly, we have Joker and Juice. Okay. Which is a twist on gin and juice. Yes. So, gin, uh, so the classic gin and juice would be orange juice, right? Okay. So we switch that out to kale because the Joker's a healthy kind of person. So we have some <laughs> kale juice in there, some cute muddle cucumber, soda water. It's a delicious, well-balanced wow. drink. Okay, I feel that like this one is on amazing. me, so I'll take this one. Okay, you didn't that drink this one, really so I gotta have this one. <laughs> This is good. And it feels a little healthy with the kale. There you yeah, go. Yeah. You know, Getting I, your I don't want a little green with my turnip. That's the thing about drinking. Add <laughs> kale so you can feel bad about yourself. Right. There you go. Exactly. Win win. Thank you so much, Sky John, for keeping us tipsy, but also classy. You know what yeah. I mean? For more info on how to make great cocktails, check out tipsybartender.com. Stay tipsy. <laughs> yes. Stay tipsy. All right. And when we come back, our favorite late night host, Lily Singh, joins the panel to share her unfiltered thoughts on the year's biggest movies. This is E's Brunch at the Oscars. We're back after this. Oh. From swinging 60s glam to modern newsroom realness, the fashion on screen this year covered all the bases. What are you two wearing? And sometimes the characters look as so fab, we can't help but want it for ourselves. I know how this bit goes. In 2019, nobody rocked a cable knit quite like Chris Evans. Tell me everything. Knives Out featured a who's who of Hollywood, but it was Chris Evans' sweater that stole the show. Mm -hmm. Fans freaked over the creamy, cozy knit. Even Chris's dog Dodger got in on the fashion trend. Who wore it best? And while Little Women's March Sisters were cinched to the gods, if we're talking period piece fabulosity, we were all about ScarJo in Jojo Rabbit. You're looking fetching as usual. Oh. Her bright, bold wardrobe had us longing to be retro chic. Just like the crew in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Thank you for taking an interest. This year got extra groovy with Leo's leather jacket turtleneck combo and Brad's Hawaiian denim duo. I try. But if we had to pick our fave look of the year, it's all about that coat, baby. JLo made 50 look sexy as hell in Hustlers and had us hunting down faux fur for our own closets. Are you in? As long as you're paying, definitely. Here is an exclusive peek into 60s television star Rick Dalton's bachelor pad in the Hollywood Hills. This ranch-style home with a western feel is conveniently located on the end of the very exclusive Cielo Drive. It features a pool with framed views of downtown LA, an entertainment center, and modern appliances. Minimal renovations are needed thanks to an on-call handyman. Hollywood history could be yours for just $215,000 in 1969. If you're looking for something more imposing, then take a look at the mysterious and luxurious Thromby Estate. Home to famed crime novelist Harlan Thromby, this gorgeous Gothic Revival mansion just outside of Boston was built in 1890. It features views to die for in a dramatic landscape, the perfect lakeside getaway. With over 20 rooms, this historic home features original mahogany woodwork and ample space for entertaining friends and family. Price reduced due to an unfortunate incident. 
Searching for something more centrally located? Well, this two-story property in an up-and-coming neighborhood in Germany may suit your needs. This colorful home captures the Art Deco style of the 1930s. Flooded with natural light and set on a main street, this gem comes with a neighborhood watch, plenty of storage space, and multiple entrances and exits. Escape with this German gem for under a million. Perfect for rentals and homestays. If a family home is more of your style, consider this friendly fixer-upper. With a generous yard and room for expansion, this picturesque clapboard farmhouse is surrounded by nature and situated next to a pond. Perfect for sports. Don't drown in mortgage payments. All offers entertained. And last but not least, if you're looking for a more modern vibe, check out the glamorous home of the Park family in South Korea. This one-of-a-kind masterpiece was built by Starkitect and previous owner Namgoon Hyonja. This spa palatial home boasts 24-hour security, parking, and staff included. With a minimalistic aesthetic, custom-made furniture, and bonus room in the basement, you don't want to miss out on this killer deal. All this for only 2,535,750,000 Korean won.